Hi there and welcome to the 2010 show. I'm Zaid Omar. Today we're coming to you from Decorix at the Cape Town International Convention Center. So, what does Decorix have to do with the 2010 FIFA World Cup? Well, it's marking the launch of the 2010 Fine Art Project. But before we tell you more about that, let's find out what's on the show today. The National Lottery Fund grants the 2010 NOC 81 million rand towards a legacy program. We visit the Western Cape Sports School for the launch of the My 2010 School Adventure Campaign. And we bring you all the excitement from Decorex Cape Town. And of course, we'll bring you all the latest news and reviews ahead of the biggest sports event to be held on African soil for the first time ever. But before that, let's take a look at the latest 2010 news. Well, that's the latest 2010 news. It was Valdi Pereira, the Brazilian footballer, better known as Didi, who coined the term football as the beautiful game. But Rob Spall, the general manager for 2010 Fine Art, says that the 2010 Fine Art collection will breathe new life into that description. Rob, that's a profound statement. What we have with the 2010 World Cup is a profound opportunity. So when we talk about what we're launching today with 2010 Fine Art, we really do believe it's injecting a whole new life into the concept of the beautiful game. It's the first time in 80 years of the tournament's history that Fine Art on this scale has ever been licensed. So we're very excited about this opportunity and we think it's going to do great things both for our World Cup and for the continent as a whole. How did the Fine Art project come about? It was the brainchild of our managing director, Craig Mark, who's actually a gallery owner from KwaZulu Natal. He approached us with the concept and we loved the idea, we loved the opportunity that it offered. So we approached Global Brands Group, which is FIFA's master licensing agent, and we pitched the idea to them. It took a lot of negotiation. It was about an eight month process to finalize the agreement to get the license, but it was worthwhile once we got it. What's the purpose of the 2010 Fine Art Project? The main purpose of 2010 Fine Art, we believe, is to help build the excitement around the first African FIFA World Cup. What we're doing is we're using a series of artists from all over the world, leading contemporary artists, and getting them to be inspired by the return of the world to Africa for this World Cup. But we're also using African artists from around the continent and giving them a platform to promote African visual arts for the first time to this kind of international audience. Now, I'm sure you guys at 2010 Fine Art know a lot about art, but what do you know about football and have you had any interaction with football before? Well, I have to answer from my own side and say that I'm an absolute idiot when it comes to football. Uh, fortunately, we have members of our team and our board who are fanatics. And one of the challenges that we've actually faced, because we're looking at a, a, almost an organic process, you know, we don't know yet which of the countries are going to be the 32 final qualifying countries. We've had to have experts on board who can help us predict uh, to with a degree of certainty which of the countries are going to be participating because we need to be getting artists from those countries into our project. Now there are 45 artists doing art for the collection. Tell us about them. Actually what we've got is we have within fine art two separate collections. We have the international fine art collection and the African fine art collection. On the international side we're ultimately going to have 160 artists that will be participating. That's five from each of the qualifying countries. At the moment we're up to 45 who are signed and who are on board. We're very excited to have artists of the caliber of Spain's Elazar, uh, we have Pep Guerrero, we have uh, Pablo Di Maso from Argentina and someone like Peter Phillips from England, who's known as the father of British pop art, has already contributed works to the project. It's, it's really exciting. So the art is up for sale to the public? It is. This actually at our launch here at Decorex Cape Town is the first 
opportunity the public has to acquire one of these amazing pieces of work. Uh, we will have a number of other exhibitions, but this is the first time it's been made available to the public, and it's the tip of the iceberg. The collections are still being assembled. So, Rob, this is the first phase of selling to the public. Tell us when, what's the next phase and where and when. We're anticipating between now and December a number of different exhibitions around South Africa, uh, Johannesburg, Durban, Cape Town, possibly in Bloemfontein, where we will work with gallery partners to have some of this artwork exhibited. But then for the 4th of December, when FIFA has its final World Cup draw here in Cape Town, when we're going to know fi finally which of the teams will be playing in which cities and in which of the groups, we're planning on having a massive launch here of the International Fine Art Project, as many of the 160 original works as will be completed at that point. So that's the next big event for December here in Cape Town. Rob, thanks for joining us on the 2010 show. Thank you. It was a great pleasure. Now you know more about 2010 Fine Art. Let's meet the artists and their work.